At the Artworks Center, we are developing the next generation in vitro models. They are called organs on chip. Organs on chip have the particularity to be able to mimic the cellular microenvironment very accurately. This allows the cells to remain functional as well as the tissue that are made of these cells. For more than 10 years, we have been collaborating with our clinical partners from the thoracic surgery and the pneumology department to focus on the lung and its diseases by developing lung on chips. The lung is a complex organ whose primary function is a gas exchange. The respiratory tract is divided in two large airways, which successively split into smaller airways to end up in the alveoli where the gas exchange takes place. The alveoli are tiny air sacs, which consist of a very thin membrane that are populated with cells, some in contact with air and others in contact with blood. For Pauline's project, we collaborated with the Helmholtz Center for Infectious Diseases in Germany, the thoracic surgery and the pneumology department at the Indian Hospital. My work focused on the development of lung on a chip that mimic the air blood barrier, including the specific macroenvironment. The first generation lung on chip uses a thin polymeric membrane to support the cells. In sharp contrast, the second generation lung on chip that we developed during my PhD project uses a biological membrane made of collagen and elastin, two molecules found in the lung. Here, you can see human cells from patients culture on this membrane. An hexagonal grid acts as scaffold to create the alveolar barrier. Each hexagon represents one alveoli with in vivo-like dimension, meaning about 215 micrometer. A small pressure applied at the bottom of the alveolar barrier enables the collagen elastin membrane to be stretched in three dimensions to mimic the breathing motion. This mechanical stress is known to importantly affect the cells and the function of the alveolar barrier. The beauty of this now improved lung on a chip system is that we work with patient-derived cells. We obtain these cells from the OR or from a patient with disease. We sort them and we culture them on lung on a chip. And the aim would be in the sense of personalized medicine to develop a treatment for this specific patient. Another key novelty of this second generation lung on a chip is a very simple fabrication technique that is based on forces known to help mosquitoes walk on the water surface tension. A drop of collagen and elastin is pipetted on an ultra-thin hexagonal grid where it spreads and creates a membrane. Cells can then be seeded on the membrane where they proliferate and create a barrier. The membrane can then be cyclically stretched. The applications for such membranes are very broad from the better understanding of uh, physiology and pathology of lung diseases to the development of uh, drugs, new drugs and drug screening. This is a very nice example of a highly productive collaboration between different institutions here on the Insel campus, the University, Inspital, but also CITEM. This is what we need for our patients suffering from lung diseases innovative new products, improving diagnosis and treatment of those patients.